Jujutsu Kaisen takes everything anime fans loves about Naruto and Bleach and kicks it up a level. The series follows Yuji Itadori as he sacrifices his livelihood for the sake of others by swallowing the cursed figure of Ryomen Sukuna. By becoming the host of an infamous spirit, Yuji is now the target of every sorceress wishing to exorcise. However, this event is just the beginning of a deeper and darker world of curses. Although Jujutsu Kaisen is still relatively new, the series has already amassed a huge following through its manga and anime adaptation. But while everyone knows about Jujutsu Kaisen, not everyone truly knows everything about Gege Akudami series. Here are some of the interesting facts that you didn't know about Jujutsu Kaisen. First one is the character's theme music. Gege Akutami, the creator of Jujutsu Kaisen manga, has curated official theme music for the main cast. Yuji Tadori's theme song features Hartni Hi Wo Tsukete by 9mm Parabellum Bullet and Itsuka Doko Ka De by Kuchiroro. Megumi Fushigoro's playlist includes Hakujitsumu and Weezer's Island in the Sun. Nobara Kugisaki vibes to Seishun Kyoso Kyoku by Sunny Day Service and Ane Dapato by Natsuko Nishoku. Satoru Gojo's musical backdrop encompasses of Mada Minu Asuni by Asian Kung Fu Generation and Shame On Me by AVC. Just like that, many different musics from the real world are linked to each characters from the main cast. If you want to check this list, then check out the comment section down below where I have pinned a link where you can read all of the musics that are related to each character. Next fact is the English manga release came under fire for lazy translations. In North America, the Jujutsu Kaisen manga is published by Viz Media. The company typically does a good job with its shonen jump properties such as One Piece and Naruto. However, Viz Media's translation of Jujutsu Kaisen has received criticism for inadvertently conveying the original scene's intention. In Chapter 220's Self-Purification and Self-Restraint, Shoko describing the unlikelihood of falling in love with another character came off as confusing and challenging. Childlessly demissive. In Chapter 221, Gain and Loss, Satoru Gojo's long awaited return to the series was mangled by poor choices of words. When asked, Would you lose against Ryome and Sukuna? Gojo originally answered, Nah, I would win. A callback to the earlier scene in the manga. The English version had Gojo answer as just simply no. After fans' backlash, Viz Media changed Gojo's answer to Nah, I would win. There was a continuity error in the manga. Even reward mangaka including favorites like Eiichiro Oda of One Piece are not immune to making mistakes. Acknowledging these slip-ups, creators often share insight into forgotten plot lines or adjustments made to align within the evolving narrative. Gege Akutami, the mastermind behind Jujutsu Kaisen, recently joined the ranks of candid mangaka. In a weekly Shonen Jump author's comment section, Akutami openly apologized for a continuity error in chapter 221 of the series, notably featuring the triumphant return of Gojo Sato from the prison realm. The mangaka clarified, Itadori's right ear returning is my mistake, but Gojo coming back isn't a mistake. This humble acknowledgement addressed the inadverted error with Akutami maintaining transparency about the intricacies of maintaining consistency in the storytelling of Jujutsu Kaisen. Next one is Gege Akutami wished he did more with Junpei Yoshino. Within the poignant narrative of Jujutsu Kaisen, the tale of Junpei Yoshino stands out as a particularly heart-wrenching. A victim of relentless bullying, Junpei comes to depth of his inner hatred for humanity, manipulated by the cruel orchestrations of Mahito. The tragic twist intensified when Junpei, realizing the extent of Mahito's deception, transforms into another one of Mahito's human experiments, inevitably meeting a pitiful demise. In the commentary section of Volume 4 of Jujutsu Kaisen manga, series creator Gege Akutami expressed a wish to have portrayed more scenes showcasing Junpei's kindness before his tragic demise. In episode 10 titled as Ideal Transfiguration of Anime, an anime original flashback unfolded, revealing Junpei's joyful involvement in running the movie club at Sato Zakura High School before becoming the target of bullying orchestrated by Shota Ito. This added depth serving to enhance the emotional weight of Junpei's characters, shading light on the facets of his life that were eclipsed by the darkness of tragedy. Next one is various elements of Jujutsu Kaisen are inspired by Bleach. Jujutsu Kaisen creator Gege Akutami has made his love of Tite Kubo's Bleach well known, publicly and throughout his work. Many impactful panels from the Jujutsu Kaisen manga were inspired by unforgettable scenes in Bleach, as well as other Shonen Jump series like Hunter x Hunter. The battle-hungry Aoi Todo is a homage to equally violent Kempachi Zaraki, the captain of 11th division in Gotei 13. There's even an anime scene where Yuji Tadori name drops the Bankai technique from Bleach, as well as other signature attacks from Yu Yu Hakusho, Naruto and Dragon Ball. Gege Akutami is a fan of Bleach. 
Tite Kubo's Bleach holds a pivotal role in the original story of Gege Yakutan and his journey to becoming a successful manga author. For the Jujutsu Kaisen official fan book, the two manga creators engaged in a discussion about their creative influences and motivations. Akutami, an avid admirer of Kubo's work, delved into the profound impact Bleach had on shaping his artistic trajectory. Reflecting on his childhood, Akutami shared a captivating scene, stating that when I was in fourth grade, my older brother would always buy weekly Shonen Jump. However, he would never let me read the issues he bought since he was very possessive of his belongings. One day, when he wasn't around, I secretly opened an issue, and it happened to be the one that Bleach debutted in. The first chapter was so impressive that it made me realize just how incredible the mangakas are. I've been hooked ever since. This clandestine encounter with Bleach not only ignited Akutami's passion for manga, but also became a foundational movement that set him on the path to creating a remarkable world of Jujutsu Kaisen. Yuji Itadori is based on Gege Akutami's older brother. Yuji Itadori takes a lot of inspiration from past Shonen Jump heroes like Ichigo Kurosaki from Bleach and Naruto Uzumaki from his self-titled series. However, it was the older brother of the series' creator Gege Akutami that inspired the main protagonist of Jujutsu Kaisen. According to a 2020 French interview, Akutami based Yuji on his older brother because he is everything he is not. Yuji is strongly inspired by my older brother who is my opposite. Akutami he said. He is someone who succeeds in everything he does, like sports, studies and etc. This might be where Yuji's strong determination to save everyone comes from, as well as successfully fighting against the cursed fingers that dwells inside him. The meaning behind Jujutsu Kaisen The title Jujutsu Kaisen translates directly to sorcery fight in English. However, this literal translation only scratches the surface of the nuanced meaning embedded in the name. Jujutsu encompasses the notion of a curse or Jujutsu Shiki signifying a curse technique. On the other hand, Kaizen is a term coined by the series creator Gege Akutami by combining two kanji characters. Kai word denotes rotation or circling around, while Sen denotes battle. Together, Jujutsu Kaizen takes the profound meaning of an endless battle of curses. The Real Inspiration for the Zen in Residence in the realm of real-world inspirations, the Jujutsu Kaisen series draws from the tangible locations and architectural marvels. The Edo Tokyo Open Air Architectural Museum serves as a significant influence, with its cultural buildings providing visual references for the manga. Episode 21 showcases the Kyoto Goodwill Event Gathering, inspired by the Maekawa Kunio residence. The Zainin family's house interiors mirrors the Koide Tei building, while the exteriors draws inspiration from the Kodakara Yu luxury house. This blending of real world inspirations adds depth and authenticity to the series' immersive setting. Creator Gege Akutami hates Satoru Gojo Among the cast of Jujutsu Kaisen, Satoru Gojo is one of the most popular sorcerers. In the series' first popularity poll, Gojo came in third place with nearly 17,000 votes. In the second poll, Gojo was in second place with over 14,000 votes. While the fans loves Gojo, series creator Gege Akutami loves to tease his hate for the character. In various author comment section from the manga, Akutami is seen making amusing backhanded comments towards the Six Eyes Sorcerers. Now that Gojo is gone, it's looking like 2020 is gonna be a good year. That's what Akutami wrote in one of his comments on the manga. He even discouraged fans from voting for Gojo in a Jump Festa poll. And that's it for today's video guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. And also check out some other videos related to Jujutsu Kaisen over here. And that's it and I will see you in the next one. Sayonara.